Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know I have been saying that I was going to be putting out a lot more content since I've been in quarantine, literally going on almost two months now. It's crazy to think it's been that long. As I've said in previous videos, life's kind of been just weird lately. Time has been weird, life in general has been weird. It just doesn't feel normal. Like, I feel like we're still in March. It's May and I feel like we're still in March. And I don't, I like blinked and I don't know where the time went. So because of that, I've been like crazy behind on everything I was supposed to be doing. I've been working. That's mainly what I've been doing is just working. And when I'm not working, I feel like I'm watching movies, sitting down, calling friends, calling family, playing Animal Crossing. That's been my big thing lately, playing that. And I've been running my writing group on Discord that um, a few of you may actually be in. So hello to all of my students and my writing discord. But in terms of my own writing, I really haven't been doing as much as I would really like. It's been, it's been weird. I wrote one piece, like literally I wrote one piece in the two months that I have been in quarantine. And normally I've been hoping for this. I've been hoping for time that I can be home, that I have to myself, that I can do whatever I want. And you know, it's finally that time when I actually can do this and I'm doing everything but that. Yeah, you're not helping. You're not helping. No, you're not. You are such a distraction. You're a cute distraction, so you're lucky. I've been submitting work to publishers, but I really just haven't been actually writing. So that's kind of my downfall is it's a good thing that I'm putting work out there. I have actually gotten two pieces picked up recently. Um, one of them is actually going to be turned into an audiobook and it got a pretty big deal. So I'm going to be sharing more information about that in a future video. But what I'm going to share today is an, essentially it's an unboxing, so to speak, of some items that I got from my local spiritual shop, the awareness shop, which I've done another video on previously, uh, a few months ago, back when, before I had all this better equipment and my, <laughs> my camera was pretty terrible. So right now, since basically all businesses in New York are closed, except for those that are deemed essential, like grocery stores and gas stations and the like, a lot of local businesses are doing like porch pickups and deliveries and things like that. So one of the things that my local spiritual shop has been doing is doing crystal medicine bags that are personalized to the individual person that's ordering them. You can give an intention behind them and the shopkeepers will actually pick out crystals for you based on what your intention is. I've always picked up like a lot of like creativity bags in the past. I have a whole bunch of creativity crystals that I absolutely love, but I wanted something a little more specific for writing and motivation, especially like right now, because I really, really need it. And personally, I thought that having my stones and crystals picked for me would be a little bit more beneficial than just like a standard like medicine bag that is kind of like generic that anybody can just go and get. So the nice thing is every crystal in this bag is picked specifically with the person who's buying them in mind and the shop owner actually writes up what each crystal is and why she chose it. So I have not opened these yet. I just took them out of the bag. The cats are all over them because they probably smell all the wonderful scents of the store on them. That and every time I tend to bring crystals home, they're like all over them. They absolutely love them. And Binks here likes to steal crystals. He has stolen a few of my clear quartz pieces and actually dragged them into a patch of sun in the middle of the kitchen floor and laid next to it. They're his favorite. Yes, they are. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and keep them under control while I do my unboxing. So like I said, I actually haven't looked at the list or anything yet um, with these crystals. I just took it out of the bag and I'm really excited to see what I got. So right now you can purchase, there's different tiers for crystals. And the more you spend, the more crystals obviously that you get. So there was a $15 tier, a $30 tier, a $50 tier, and a $100 tier. I went with the $30 tier only because I purchased a Karma card which right now there is a deal if you buy a $50 Karma card for yourself, the shop will actually give a $25 Karma card to either a person in the community of your choice or somebody in the community that they know who could really use that extra money right now to buy some of their spiritual supplies. So it's a really great thing going on right now. It's their spread the love, not the virus. You can check it out on their shop, links down below. 
and I highly recommend it. Even if you are not local, I recommend picking one up and you can always order crystals and have them mailed to you. So something to think about and these crystal bags are really awesome and anybody who like loves crystals or who is in the spiritual community, I definitely recommend doing this because it not only is really awesome and getting a personalized bag picked out for you, for your intention, but it also really, really helps out our local spiritual community. So here is my crystal bag that I got. I'm really excited to read what Lisa has said and what crystals she picked out and actually to get to check my crystals out. So let's see what we got. So there's a big long list here. I ended up getting the $30 crystal bag. So it looks like I got a very, very good selection of crystals here. And I'm going to go down the list and read what ones were chosen for me. So again, my intention when I called and ordered this bag was for writing and motivation. Any crystals that could help me with my writing, basically getting me motivated to do it more often, especially during this quarantine. So all of the crystals that were chosen are in relation to writing and motivation and helping me fulfill my intention. So here is the beautiful bag filled with crystals that I can't wait to open. And it looks like there are six crystals in this bag. It's definitely heavy, so I feel like there's probably a bigger sized one in here. And I'm really excited to see what I've got. So I'm going to open this and after I peek and I show you guys what they are, I will go down the list and tell everyone what the crystals are and the reason that they were chosen for me. So let's see what we got. Oh, there definitely is a big one in here. This is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see, there is a beautiful, beautiful collection here of crystals. I absolutely love the green ones. I have a feeling it's probably a fluorite and an adventuring, since I know those are fabulous for creativity. And it's perfect because I've been putting my green crystals out in the living room. I have a whole wall. You guys can't see it. At some point I will film in another video, but it's got tons of like little wee folk and mushrooms and succulents and gnomes and whatnot on the wall. And I've been putting a lot of my green tinted crystals up there with them. So this is actually perfect. And I'm very happy that I did get some green crystals. So the first crystal that I got is this beautiful lilac amethyst. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've always looked at them every time I go to the shop and I've just never gotten one. So I'm really glad that this actually was one of the crystals that was chosen for me. So the purpose behind this, it says that it basically does all that a regular amethyst does, but the lilac amethyst helps awaken higher chakras. And there is a special note on there that says as above. So this is definitely really special one and I'm going to keep this in my personal collection because I love it. I've always wanted a lilac amethyst. I've never actually gone out and bought one and since this was specifically chosen for me and my intention it definitely means a lot more. This next one is one of my other favorite stones. I love all of fluorite but the green fluorite to me is one of the most beautiful shades of fluorite so I'm really glad that this was in my collection as well. So this is the green fluorite. Look how beautiful that is. I hope you guys could see it as well as I can. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. So the green fluorite dissipates emotional trauma. It cleanses the aura and it helps find your way. So this is really good for helping basically clear my path and make sure that I stay focused, which is severely important when you're writing. I just love the way that the light reflects in this. This is this is gorgeous. Like this is absolutely gorgeous. And it's big. It's so big and I love it. So this next one, I actually found interesting that it was chosen for me. It is a peach moonstone. And for anybody who knows me, I always wear peach moonstone. That is the stone that I usually always have on me. It's odd that today I didn't wear it, but most of the time I wear peach moonstone. And the fact that it was chosen for my medicine bag essentially is it makes me very happy because I know that I'm doing something right <laughs> so this is the peach moonstone and this is to connect to the goddess it brings psychic awareness and it's also good for gardening which I just got a whole bunch of flowers and plants for my garden so perfect timing and it's also good for dieting which Right now, I really need to do, especially after quarantine, because I've been living off carbs. This next one, I love the detail on this crystal. Look how awesome that is. I love it, I love the rings, it's beautiful. I wish 
I don't think you guys can see how beautiful it really looks in person on the camera, but it is gorgeous. So this is a pink Botswana. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but it helps to call in your networks and helps expand your circle of friends, which is really important and really helpful, especially when writing and being motivated. And I think this is actually is a really great crystal choice right now because I'm doing just that. I have, like I said, made my discord. I have made a whole lot of friends. I'm networking with a lot of writers right now and it's really been helping me. I think it's getting my motivation there. It's really helping. And I think this was chosen perfectly uh, to align with that. So this one definitely is very special. This next one is a really, really, really pretty purple shade. Again, I hope I'm saying this correctly. I'm so bad with like crystal names, it's really bad. But I think it's rubellite and lapidolite. I hope I'm saying that right again. But look at the purple violet tone on that. It is so pretty. I wish my camera would focus better. Uh, it's really, really pretty. So this is helping elevate mood which right now, I think in general, a lot of people could use. I think just in general, there's like a lot of, not necessarily negative energy around for people's moods, but just, I don't know, that whole feeling like confined to your home. Definitely, this will help elevate the mood. And with an elevated mood, I feel you definitely write better when you're in a better mood than when you're not. But it also brings in calm and loving energy and reduces stress. And I definitely, I absolutely need this right now because I've been under a lot of stress. I feel like some of my stress has definitely lowered certain things during all of this, but there are new stresses that have been coming up. I feel like a lot of my other stresses have started to slowly diminish, but there are new stresses just because of everything going on. And this definitely is a good stone to have. So thank you for choosing this one. I really love the shade. I love the tone. And finally, the stone. I'm glad this is the last one because this is my favorite. The minute that I opened this bag, uh, it definitely was the one that called to me. It is the green aventurine. And I have so much green aventurine. Like most of them are like little tiny, tiny little stones. But this is a really big chunk of it and it's gorgeous. And this hands down now is my favorite crystal that I have. Like the minute I opened this bag, I was like, that's, that's the one. So this, big, big, beautiful piece is green aventurine. Look at the color of that. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love it. That is definitely going to go on my shelf with all my little wee folk because it's the perfect shade. It's gorgeous. I love it. So not only have I been told before that this is good for creativity and communication, but it's also good for prosperity and it's a heart healer, and it's good for eyesight. All right, Hope is throwing my Flory on the floor. She loves it. She, this is the third time she's tossed it on the ground and is rubbing all over it. So obviously that's the one that she likes. Hope, those are, those are not for you, baby girl. But this crystal is gorgeous and it's absolutely, like I said, probably my new favorite, hands down in my entire collection. So those were the six stones that were chosen for me. All of them are gorgeous. They definitely are different from what I was expecting. Like I said, a lot of times when you get like the generic, like creativity, motivational bags, they are different stones. Every once in a while, I'll see like green aventurine in there, but you do not get a piece of green aventurine like this. This is beautiful. And I learned a little bit more about some of these crystals too. There were other things about them that I hadn't known before. And honestly, this bag I think is going to be some of my favorite crystal pieces. Like I said, I got my lilac amethyst that I've always wanted to buy a piece of and just never got around to it. So having one in here is really awesome. I absolutely love the green fluorite. It's beautiful. The green aventurine, that's my favorite. Like I said, hands down. And having a nice solid piece of moonstone again, because I normally wear peach moonstone anyway, but having one for my crystal medicine bag is really awesome. So thank you again, Lisa, for picking out my stones. They definitely are exactly what I was looking for. And I, like I said, I love them. They are beautiful and probably, probably the most gorgeous crystals in my collection. And I am going to cherish them. So once again, if you guys are interested in your own personalized crystal medicine bags for any intention that you may have, I will include the link down below on how to order your own. If you're local to the area, you can schedule a porch pickup. Um, that's what I did today. I stopped by the shop. My bag was on the porch. I picked it up. 
nice and easy, simple. And if you are interested in the $50 crystal medicine bag, I highly recommend just ordering the $50 karma card. That way you are supporting the shop, but you're also supporting somebody else who right now may not have the funds to get their spiritual supplies that they need. So I highly recommend that that's the way you go if you're planning on spending, even if you buy the $30 or the $15 one, get a $50 karma card. There are so many things on their website that you can order more crystals that are absolutely gorgeous, really helpful books. There are also ritual wear there. There's tons and tons of stuff. Check out the website. And like I said, they do ship. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, shipping, depending on where it's going to, may be a little bit more pricey, especially depending on the size of the package. But I highly encourage anyone who is interested to please check it out and please help support this wonderful shop and the community. I will be back very soon with another video. I have quite a few precious publications that I need to catch up on. I have some other story time videos that I need to catch up on and just some general updates. So I definitely will be seeing you guys again really soon. In the meantime, remember, keep washing your hands. Don't touch your face. Stay away from people if you can. Keep wearing your face masks. Avoid big groups. Social distance when you can. I love all of you and I will see you very soon in my next video.